All eyes really on Zeta, even though it's in the Caribbean right now. This is the Northern Caribbean headed toward the Yucatan Peninsula. Uh, it's still a tropical storm at this point. Its winds are just below hurricane status at 70 miles per hour. This is the latest from the Hurricane Center moving to the northwest at 10 miles per hour. So it's about 140 miles southeast of Cozumel, Mexico, and we'll continue to head in that direction, possibly strengthening before it gets there as a category one hurricane. At least that's the forecast for it. We'll interact with this landmass and that will help to shear it up just a little bit. And then it moves back out into the sea over toward the Gulf wide open as well and will strengthen back to a category one, possibly even a category two before it makes landfall uh, during the day or at least toward the evening on Wednesday. Very close to New Orleans here over Louisiana as it, after it makes landfall, it will start to lose a lot of its characteristics, but the remnants will be headed over toward us. Those remnants will bring in some very heavy rain and possibly a storm threat for us as well. So we'll have to watch that. We're talking anywhere from two to three inches of rainfall, some higher amounts, especially up here to the far north. Because of that, the National Weather Service has issued a flood watch, which means we are watching for the potential for flooding in the highlighted counties that you see here from Dade Walker County over to Union Towns County all the way down through uh, looks like uh, Gwinnett County all the way down to uh, Coweta County as well. We could be seeing anywhere from two to three inches of rainfall uh, and even in and around these areas. If your county is not highlighted, for example, Henry County, you're not highlighted there, but you could be seeing some very heavy rainfall as well. There'll be rounds of heavy rain pushing into the area. I'm thinking started sat, uh, Wednesday night going into Thursday morning. Here's how it plays out for us in the forecast track model. You can follow along with the time right there at the top of the screen shows the clouds in place. You may get a break or two here or there. And again, a 20% chance for an isolated shower. Most of us will remain dry. We'll start you off on Tuesday morning with the clouds. Expect a few breaks in those clouds during the afternoon as well. We'll call that a mix of sun and clouds. It'll start to get cloudy once again Tuesday night going into Wednesday and Wednesday expect the rain to move in light during the morning and then once we get to the afternoon it'll be light and steady and then the heaviest rain comes in during the evening going into Thursday. Right now we're going to give it a 60% chance on Wednesday, 90% chance on Thursday. Can't rule out a thunderstorm or two. And of course, when you hit this tropical air mass on top of us, a brief spin up tornado is certainly possible as well. And all that really depends on the track. And so because it's still down in the uh, Northern Caribbean Sea, we'll still have to watch that because that path could change ever so slightly or even greatly. So we'll watch that and update these totals for you as we go. By once the system gets behind us, or at least to the north of us, We'll start to see a cool down, so we'll get partly sunny skies in here on Friday and temperatures right around 65 degrees, 64 on Saturday under mostly sunny skies, and then the next system comes to to bring us some more rain on Sunday. Got a 40% chance with 65 degrees for your high.